appearance, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Christine Whalen on behalf of Mr. Uduchimi. And, sir, go ahead and state your full name and date of birth. My name is Elias Uduchimi. My date of birth is August 5th, 1964. Okay, Mr. Uduchimi, you are here on a grand jury warrant. You were indicted on a charge of murder in the second degree, a Class I felony. My understanding is you've retained Ms. Whalen for all further proceedings, so I'm not appointing a court-appointed attorney for you at this point. Your next hearing date is September 14th, 2017 at 8.30 a.m. And, Ms. Whalen, would you like to be heard on release? Keeping in mind that this is a grand jury warrant. Judge, I do understand this is a grand jury warrant. With respect to release conditions, if Your Honor has the capability of modifying the bond, our firm has represented Mr. Uduchimi on this matter. The county attorney's office was aware of it. He has at no time had any intention on fleeing. There's absolutely no basis to believe that he is a flight risk. He is in the middle of a family law proceeding surrounding this, which his appearance is required at. He does have a hearing on that scheduled, I believe, in about three weeks at this point. So we understand what the charge is. We understand that the grand jury made a determination of what the release conditions would be. However, do find that a modified bond in the amount of a $200,000 secured appearance bond would be more appropriate. As Your Honor knows, the date of allegation dates back to September 24th of 2015. So based on that information, he is secure here in the community. He owns a house here in the Valley. He is employed. He has all of the community ties that one would expect of an individual who has lived here for a number of years. And Ms. Riley, I appreciate everything you just said. I really do. And, you know, you articulated it well. Unfortunately, the grand jury heard the evidence. I did not hear the evidence. And the judge did sign off on the $500,000 secured appearance bond. And that is what I'm going to set, a secured appearance bond in the amount of $500,000. If you make that bond, you will be released to pretrial services on electronic monitor. Your release conditions would include not returning to the scene of any alleged crime, not having contact with any alleged victim, which includes the deceased family, not possessing any weapons, and not possessing drugs without a valid prescription. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Riley.